Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something completely different. Today we're going to look at the polish pickup and drool over the choices. Come along with me. It'll be fun. So why am I doing a polish pickup picks video? It's not like I have the experience or clout to help you pick out polishes. I have no influence to sway you one way or another. You're right. However, it's my birthday month. They've chosen my favorite theme and I'm broke. So since it isn't likely that I'll get to buy any of these lovelies, at least I'll have something to look back on. So let's have some fun. This may seem absolutely insane or silly, but this is how I do my polish pickup picks. First, I go through and I see how the names and inspirations fall in line with the theme. I know, I know, it's very difficult to ignore the beauty of the polishes and I do have to get myself back on track from time to time. But then I go back through and I look at the polish colors. So it's not unheard of that your polish would end up in my wish list or my cart based on the name alone. So with that in mind, these are my nods to the polish makers in alphabetical order for matching up with the theme. My favorite, the 80s. Alter Ego, Safety Dance. No sooner than you hear the name, the video is running through your brain and your head is bobbing. Art as Nails, McFly. One of the most quintessential 80s movies. Back to the Future is clearly communicated through this polish name. Aurora, I still love my caboodle. What teenage girl didn't have a caboodle full of makeup? Me! I didn't get my first caboodle until the mid-90s, but I'm still giving credit where credit's due. Baby girl lacquer, Lisa. My first thought was to Lisa the band member of Purple Rain, and when I read the inspiration and discovered it was Lisa in Weird Science, I was nearly knocked to the floor with the 80s flashbacks. The eyeliner, the hair, the huge crush on Gary and Wyatt. Maybe a little more Wyatt. He was the softer, gentler, and sweeter. Wait, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, polish. Bees knees lacquer. Sometimes dead is better. When I saw this was inspired by Pet Cemetery, I was so embarrassed that I didn't know right away. I used to know all things King. And those colors are so fitting, a great match to the name. Beyond the Nail, Time After. Can you get more 80s than Cindy Lauper? The colorful outfits, the hair, that makeup. I almost missed it by the name though, but that's on me. The name ties very well with the inspiration and the theme. Blush Lacquers Take On Me, the best 80s video, period. End of discussion. An entire teen romance novel wrapped up in a four minute song. This is the first polish added to my wish list. Cameo Colors Lacquers, Princess of Power, she -ra! See, girls can kick butt and swing swords too. Is that the school bus of here? Gotta go. Colors by LaRoe. I'm so sure. Like, gag me with a spoon. Like, I can't believe we talk this way, like, all the time. Like, grody to the max. Great name and theme tie-in. By the way, love that ring. Creative Cuticles Nail Polish. Arcade Wizard. The hours and millions I have spent in the arcade. So 80s. Crystal Knockout. Boombox Summer. Boom boxes, oh, they were huge and cumbersome and everywhere. Why does this make me think of the Karate Kid movie? Maybe the similarity to the song Cool Summer. Dangle foot nail polish, mohawks, fishnets, and eyeliner. The dangerous kids, the misfits, the scary people. Most often, the misunderstood and forgotten. The look of loud music, whether it was punk or hard rock. Dollish Polish, Berrylicious, Strawberry Shortcake. I had so many of those dolls. Huckleberry Pie, Blueberry Muffin, Orange Blossom, and Apricot and Hops a lot. My bedroom was Strawberry Shortcake everything. Sheets, 
duvet, pillow covers, and the curtains. You are so going home with me. Dreamland Lacquer, you've been Rickrolled. Oh no, Rickrolling started in the 2000s. In the 80s, Rick was still just a skinny little dreamboat with a surprisingly strong voice making girls weak in the knees every time they heard him sing. Mm. If it were only named Never Gonna or Together Forever. Just such a pretty color and I don't think I have any like it. Elegy, couple skate. Elegy's inspiration says it all. I don't need any blush today. Thanks for the memories, Elegy. Ethereal Lacquer Danger Zone. Ugh. Top Gun. When this movie came out, I had four brothers. It actually changed the life of one of my brothers who wanted to be Iceman. My junior prom, the DJ equipment failed, and while it was being worked on, a handful of the senior boys spontaneously got up and sang, You've Lost That Loving Feeling. Phenomenally. Sadly, this movie, especially this song, was on repeat so much when it came out, I still can't stomach them. But that's my problem. This is a great tie-in to the theme, and it must be mentioned. Fair Maiden Polish, Video Killed the Radio Star. The first music video played on MTV. Back when MTV actually played music videos. I don't know if there is an 80s child that doesn't remember watching MTV music videos for hours. We even got in trouble for watching it at church camp. Then again, Yankee Rose by David Lee Roth may not have been the most appropriate. Fan Chromatic Nails, Courage of the Heart. I remember being obsessed with The Secret of Nim as a child. Huh. I guess I need to watch it again because I sure didn't recognize the line. Fancy Gloss, Casey Kelp. The Snorks! I love the Snorks! I completely forgot! Flirtin', Punky Power. Punky Brewster was my hero. She was so bold and colorful, and the show was so filled with love. We need more shows like that these days. Geekish Glitter Lacquer. Nobody says the B word. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh my goodness. The Hollywood Goth. Such a lighthearted movie. Definitely a gateway to the 90s movie. Graceful Nail Polish. Karma Chameleon. Boy George. The male equivalent of Cindy Lauper. The absolute confusion of the adults watching the music videos. Not that the kids had a clue what he was talking about when he sang about the red, gold, and green Karma Chameleon. Illyrian Polish Predator. One of the most terrifying movies of my childhood. The acting alone. Just kidding. I was sucked into it and was cowering under my covers. Indie Lacquer, Queen of Pop. The other quintessential 80s female icon. Everyone wanted to be her. I don't know how well the polish fits in with the 80s theme though, because she was very monochromatic in the 80s. She wore lots of black and white because, in my opinion, she was emanating Marilyn Monroe. I would love to see the photo that inspired the polish. I'm sure it would be an aha moment. Jure Couture. Best friends forever. The jelly bracelet. If only I had friends. Just kidding. I have a friend. She knows who she is. Hi, bestie. Let me know if you want me to send you some jelly bracelets. J-Ring. What a feeling. Flash dance. You know you just saw that girl get soaked with the water from nowhere in your head. That or the running leg warmers. A major 80s film, but I think it was above my age group when it was released. KB Shimmer. The bright stuff. Two for one memories. I thought this was referring to the new kids on the block, the right stuff. So my mind started heading down that direction. And then I found out the inspiration was actually rainbow bright and I get a whole new set of memories. Those cartoons and commercials were fantastic. I was a huge Care Bear fan too. This creator understands me. 
she's sending star sprinkles with every bottle so everyone gets more sparkle in their lives. This baby is coming home with me. Lacquer Lust, Falcor the Luck Dragon. For so many reasons that I will not go into on such a public forum, the never ending story was quite significant in my life. I know we're not talking polish yet, but I do like this translation of Falcor. Leisha's Lacquer. Leg warmers are life. I'm not gonna lie. I have missed leg warmers more in the last three years than I ever have in my life. I loved leg warmers. You may not think they're a fantastic fashion accessory these days, but living up north, they would have been a fantastic benefit to the cold and snow. Lollipop Posse Lacquer. Write us off the page. Big time 80s song. Sadly, one of the most overplayed 80s songs. I always thought it was funny that they built the city on rock and roll, but the song is total pop. Lucky 13 Lacquer. Take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. Great theme song. I always love LaVar. Especially when he was a cast member on Star Trek Next Generation. He had the silver banana clip glasses that made the blind man see. Lynn B. Designs. Mermaid for this. I loved The Little Mermaid. The music, the animals, that silly seagull, and true love. I wanted a wedding dress just like hers when I got married. Side note, my wedding dress was nothing like hers. <laughs> Moonshine Manny, Domo Arigato. Misto Robato Domo, Domo. As a 10 year old, I heard the song, I sang along with it, but I had no clue what it was about. I don't think I've e even seen the video for it before today. But this is definitely big time 80s song. Ms. Sparkle Polish, Salt and Peppa. Boy, did our lives change when Salt and Peppa told us to push it. Then again, I was just entering high school and was becoming aware of what they meant. I remember listening to the Top 40 Countdown on our way to church and hearing it just before I walked in the doors. Music City Beauty. We belong. When I think Pat Benatar, I think Love is a Battlefield and that rough, powerful voice. I'm pretty sure she was my first women power inspiration. My Indie Polish. The red haired one. I never had a Cabbage Patch Kid, but I have been to the place where they were born in Cleveland, Georgia. I did have some of the Garbage Pail collect cards. No clue where they're at now. Nail Hoot, sweating to the oldies. This was my junior year in high school PE program. Can't remember if it was a semester or the whole year, but we were allowed to put on sweating to the oldies and do that to get class credit. Then I'd come back home and all the ladies in the house did it as a workout. Necessary Evil. E.T. Ride in the Sky. You're gonna laugh so hard you just may cry. I never saw E.T. in the theater, and the commercials gave me nightmares. I don't know if it's because Drew Barrymore screamed in the commercial or because he was covered with a sheet, but I would leave the room, crawl into my covers whenever the commercial came on. Never mind polish. I'm just drawn that way. Who Framed Roger Rabbit was never made for children. But boy, did I love it. Just goes to show that a goofy guy with a great sense of humor catches himself thawing. Night Owl Lacquer. It's a feeling. A heartbeat. Dirty Dancing. Another movie that changed our lives. Every girl I knew wanted to be baby. I was accused of being the sister. I just wanted to dance like any of the people in the movie. Spoiler alert. I can't dance like any of the people in the movie. Pampered Polishes Wop Wop Wop. Pac-Man was everywhere. Arcade, cartoons, lunchboxes, t-shirts. I even had one of the little mini arcade Pac-Man games. Sadly, the batteries leaked and destroyed the game. Poetry Cowgirl Nail Polish. Dance Your Cares Away. I loved Fraggle Rock. I don't think I missed an episode. 
Jim Henson provided the majority of my entertainment in the 80s, from Muppets to Fraggles to the Dark Crystal. He was a genius. Prelly Jelly. I'm fond of spandex. The first time I saw this, I burst out laughing. This is so 80s, I, it never even crossed my mind. The Jane Fonda workout, on record, mind you, was an alternative to sweat into the oldies for my gym class credit. Quixotic Polish. Garbage Candy. Someone actually did a Garbage Pail Kids polish. That is so totally awesome. My hubby actually still has several in his toolbox. Rogue Lacquer. Vice. My mom loved Miami Vice. My husband loved Miami Vice. He's from there. Me? I love this polish. <laughs> and I like the clothing that ins was inspired by the show. Sassy Cat's Lacquer. Don't you forget about me. The Breakfast Club is another quintessential 80s movie. It's everything 80s. The John Hughes movies just captured everything 80s teen. The way it was, the way we wanted it to be. Sassy Pants Polish. Watch Swatched. The only thing more 80s than a Swatch Watch would have to be guest jeans or the Miami Vice jackets. Totally awesome translation to the polish. Not that we're talking polish yet. Savannah Lacquer. I'm here now. What a memory. I tried to watch this again recently, but I couldn't get through it. Yet, as a child, I was enthralled. I cried when the vulture beast chased the magician. I gasped when the unicorn was turned human. I wanted to hide when the red bull came out. Scufflaw Varnish. Love letter to Molly Ringwald. Oh, Molly, everyone wanted to be her. The breakfast club socialite slash cheerleader, the pretty and pink edgy outsider. I never really got into 16 Candles, but the pickup artist, uh, okay, I never wanted to be Randy. Her life was too hard and it was kind of scary. I hope you guys send her a bottle though. I think it really suits her. Serum number five, Some Bunny Wants Your Blood. I loved this book. It was such a cute concept and storyline. Starlight Polish. Truly outrageous. Ah. Ah! I see what you did there, Starlight Polish. Starlight Music, Starlight House, Gem and the Holograms is an excellent match for you. Stella Chroma. Don't get my seat wet. Purple Rain was my life. Back in the day, I had a high-end radio with a cassette deck that would automatically play the next side without having to take out the cassette and flip it. Yup, I had Purple Rain playing day and night non-stop. Super Moon Lacquer, push it real good. Hmm, what are the odds? I already talked about Salt and Pepper's Push It song earlier. They were inspired by the Letterman jackets, but what about those boots? Supernatural Lacquer, Sight Beyond Sight, Thunder, Thunder, Thunder! Thundercats! Ho! Spaceships, swords, and cat humans. How can you go wrong? Sweetheart polish. Don't waste that lip gloss. We've already talked about how I feel about Pretty in Pink. I didn't mention that I think Ducky is the best part of the movie, though. She definitely chose the wrong guy. The Lady Varnishes. And the 80s replied, I know. Star Wars Trilogy. Nuff said. Vibrant vinyls, very sweet scented, fast and hard top coat, and matte finish top coat. Strawberry shortcake. We've already covered this. You're coming home with me. Wildflower lacquer, sweet dreams are made of this. This is my karaoke jam. Hmm, not too bad, I guess. I only have nine items in my wish list. And now for a review by Polish. Just kidding. That's gonna have to be another video. I have rambled on for too long. Y'all remember, this is strictly my opinion. There were plenty of other polishes that qualified as 80s, but these are the ones that pulled me back. Just because a polish may have pulled a frustrating memory, Top Gun, or worn out record, Starship, it still brought a smile to my face and I appreciate every contributor for their creativity 
and their submissions. Without you, there is no polish pickup. Without you, my nails are without color and my heart is without joy. I truly cannot thank you enough. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all later. If you like what you just saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, click that subscribe button and then click the bell that appears so that YouTube will notify you when I post my next video. And please, tell your friends about my channel. Until next time, be sure to add a little sparkle to every day.